So this is the clanky drums as it currently stands and I'll be taking this apart and making a new version. Uh, this is all the drum modules but what this lacks is a sequencer. So I've been sequencing this from Renoise but what I'm hoping to do instead is add the following. This is an LL82 sequencer by Robo. Robox, Robo, that's how I'm pronouncing it. So I'm going to add that to the clanker drums to make it a fully self-contained drum machine. So the first thing I need to do is disassemble the current version. So here's the modules disassembled. We've got 4MS row power. That's the 40 version. We've got the Robo LL82, which will be the step sequencer. We've got the Bifaco kick all. We've got a 2HP snare and a 2HP hat and an Erica Simps Pico drum 2, which is a multi drum oscillator. And then all of the sound from these comes out through the Hampshire Electronics mixer. So that's them all removed from the rack. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the new layout for the new clanker drums. We've got two sections of wood. I've already put some black paint on. They're just being loosely held with some uh, sellotape. And then what I've done is to hold it together, I've put the modules on the end and the end. So that keeps it square. You can see the power cable ready and waiting. And so now I can start putting in the rest of the modules. And as you'll have seen if you watch my previous modular video, I just use cardboard on the sides. Just some thin corrugated cardboard, just sellotaped on. And then when it's painted and has the uh, carbon tape around it, here's a little preview of the carbon tape. Then it will all be held in place really nice and you won't see the cardboard. So yeah, just a cheap and cheerful way of, of making a Euro rack. And here's all the modules put into the case. This is their final order. I've just got some gaps to fill in with some face plates. Okay, so back at the Loft Studios desk, there's the gap that the new clanker drums is gonna go into. And before I put the face panels in and such like, let's uh, just check that the electrics are all wired up okay. So we're just going to switch it on. It's, it gets its power from the row power on the clank modular. So let's just switch that on and see what happens. So there you go, it's got power. Everything's working. And here's the clanker drums with all the black paint done. Okay, so before I carry on, what I want to do now is check that each of the modules has sound. So I've got a key step just off camera, and by CV, using these cables, I'm gonna test each module. So first off, we've got the Bifaco kick all. And then we've got the 2HP snare. And then we've got the 2HP hat, first of all closed. And then open. And then the Erica Simps Pico drum too. So yep, everything's wired for sound. And here's the clanker drums with the carbon tape in place. So here's the fully painted and finished clanker drums, now in position as part of the bigger 
clank modular system. And so here's the final setup. We've got the clanker drums wired in to the wider clank modular system. And how this works is the Robo is a step sequencer and it doesn't have a start and stop. What you have to do is trigger it from an external source. So in this case, I'm using the Roland P6 sampler. You've got this sync cable coming out. I've got it going into the quad VCA mixer where I can then control it on this knob. So this knob's gonna start and stop the sequencer. And then that's coming into the trigger of the Robo sequencer here. Then you've got cables coming out of each of these outputs going into the different drum modules. So you've got the Bifaco kick all for the kick drum, you've got the 2HP snare for the snare drum, you've got open and closed hats coming out of the 2HP hat, and you've got various drums I can make on the drum too. I've currently got it synthesized to a kind of sort of another kind of kick drum really. And then I use the mixer here to control their individual volumes. And they're each sequenced, you can have up to eight things sequenced. I've got five things currently. And um, yeah, so I've got the BPM set on the Roland P6 to 104. And um, I've created a sound, a kick, a snare, two hats, and a, another sound, as I say. So if I flick the switch, you can hear the result. Here we go. So there you have it, that's the series of how I made the new clank drum system, the clanker drums. Um, that's just a tiny example of what can be done. Um, now that I've got these set up, I can synthesize all kinds of sounds, as I've already been doing, but it's just really cool to be able to step sequence them now. I was sequencing them individually from Renoise before, now I can actually sequence them as a whole and mute the stuff on and off, as you saw earlier. So yeah, it's a really cool system, I've really enjoyed building this and um, very pleased with the end result. So I hope you've enjoyed following along as I've made this new system. And uh, just zooming back, yep, yeah, there you go. That's the entire Clank modular system within the context of the wider Aloft Studios. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you next time. Cheers.